So now let's talk about digital waveforms. Basically all a digital waveform is is just voltage levels change over time. Basically it's a signal sending some data, some codified data, um, and that's the signal. Basically uh, you've got, uh, it just changes between high and low. Okay, so let's do this here. This is a positive going pulse. And basically it's going from its normal low up to high. Back to normal low. So obviously, what's this? It's negative going. So it's going normal high, down to low, back up to its normal high. So these are all ideal pulses because this right here. These regions of transition are occurring instantaneously. So time t0, t1, basically there is no, I mean it's just shooting straight up to high instantly and then going back to, excuse me, from over here, t0 going along instantly up to high, time keeps on progressing, instantly back to low. Okay? So those are ideal pulses. Now let's talk about non-ideal pulses. Okay, your book has something like this. I think it's how they drawn it. Goes up like this, over, and this way. And that's how the book draws it. And yeah, it's not really like that. It looks like this. So which remind which if you've been paying attention to ET111, just all of you, you guys should recognize this as kind of shaped like a capacitor charging and discharging. But because we're just going to deal with some kind of some simple stuff here, we are actually going to use this right here as an approximation of um, this thing right here. Okay, so let's talk about our um, this guy right here. We're going to again use this approximation um, that the book gives you right here. And so what we're going to do is we're going to talk about some of these things here, uh, some of the characteristics of it. Basically, um, the pulse width is this guy right here, and the amplitude is this right here. Amplitude, pulse width. So pulse width is basically the, uh, the length of time T1, T2, it takes, uh, basically, it's the width of the pulse, duh. Um, the length of time, it's from 50% of the maximum amplitude to 50% of the maximum amplitude, going up to there, going down to there. Okay, so let's talk about, let me redraw this here. Again, that's our max amplitude. That's 90%. That's 10%. If we draw our little dotted line. This right here is the rise time for a non ideal pulse. Same thing here on this side. That's the fall time. The more non-ideal it is, the more bum of a signal it is, the longer it'll take for a rise time and fall time. Um, so again, there's two types of, uh, actually, let's go to a different page here. 